Hello YouTube, it is Saturday, August 5th, and Rob just called me a little bit to, ago to let me know that my car is ready. He said it wasn't the fuse, at this time it was some kind of a controller. I'm not even sure what kind of controller it was. I'm like, damn, what the hell? And he's like, 118 degrees outside, what do you expect? Or what do you want? I'm just like, I, I want it to not be 118 degrees outside anymore. So, um, yeah, as you can see, the irrigation is going. Um, with all the work they did, I'm a little disappointed to see water up on that sidewalk. But the little trench they dug, it's definitely having a positive effect. And most of the water seems to be flowing underneath the walkway. Looks like they kind of got to dig a, dig a little bit more down right there. So I'm, I'm walking to the bus stop to catch the 44 to the 32 over to uh wow it looks like a little analog tv monitor oh no that's old stereo you know what i remember that neighbor talking to me about that stereo and asking me to fix it for and we never did manage to get together for me to fix it i forget what she said it was doing but it it sounded like it was a one of those cd player kind of issues that's really easily resolvable but I'm sure she's just overplaying CDs at this point, like most people are. It looks like I'm walking into more flooding going that direction. I kind of wish the guys that work on this whole digging irrigation project were here to see what's going on right now so they could evaluate it and kind of make some improvements. I do not want to get my damn flip-flops wet. All right, I made it. <laughs> yeah, my, uh, wearing my, my Nike flats. And, yeah, when they get wet, they're very slippery. So it looks like they've tried to add a little more dirt to contain the water there. It's still seeping down the alley a little. And then again, maybe he is out there working on it because there's his scooter and there's a dude with the weed eater. You know, I'm surprised they're not just setting it up to flow into the next property here, the little duplex, because that's owned by the same, it's the same property owner. And even though that is not part of that irrigation system for my building, there's more than enough water coming down that as long as they're, you know, rearranging the dirt, Seems like they could get that water to irrigate that part of the duplex and then this next row of apartments. Now, of course, that would involve putting trenches underneath this walkway and that walkway. But it seems like it'd be a worthwhile effort. Now, I think this property's actually got sprinklers in place. This, this building here, it's identical to mine, but a little bit longer. Memory serves, they've got sprinklers in place there. But, I don't know, it seems like it'd be a pretty minimal effort to, to, uh, I don't know about minimal, but I mean, when one looks at how much it would save on the water bill over the coming years, especially with the water rates constantly being risen by the city of Phoenix, and this water's coming from the city of Phoenix, whereas the uh, irrigation's coming from SRP. Um, and from what I understand, it's a lot less expensive because it's great water. Um, and it's overall a better thing for the environment, although some people just seem to think flood irrigation is, is evil. But the people who are sounding off on that sort of thing in the YouTube comments, you can usually tell by the things that they're posting that they severely lack knowledge on the subject i'll try to walk through here god it is so hot out today uh, i haven't checked the weather widget but i suppose i could oh man i hate it when they cut the grass and they don't pick up the clippings i'm like stomping through lawn clippings and i am so allergic to that crap hopefully i don't start getting all congested just from walking through this so, the iPhone weather widget says 117 degrees. 
or sorry, 107 degrees. It's not 117. I'd be crying a lot more <laughs> if it was 117. I don't think it's supposed to get above 114 today, but still 107 ain't nothing to sneeze at. Make no mistake, it's damn hot out here. So, right home from Rob's. Well, not right home, I should say, right to McDowell and 44th Street. I ended up walking to the bar, and I, you know, I don't regret it. I mean, Priscilla, as per always, kind of disappointed me. Just, you know, the fact that I was tired and ready to go home, and, and that she was just so into herself that she couldn't, that I was of less importance to her than her being there. To the point that she couldn't just... I mean, she offered me her key, but she knows how much I struggle trying to get through that stupid gate of hers. And she couldn't just be like, yeah, you know what, you're tired, let's go to bed. Let's both, as a couple, go to bed. It just wasn't something she was thinking of, wasn't in her agenda. I mean, it's nice she offered me a key to her apartment, but I told her, I said, I'm just gonna get stuck at that gate. It really irritates me that she moved into a gated complex because she knows how I feel about them and how much I struggle and get frustrated with gates. God, speaking of gates, delivered a pizza, not last night, but the night before, to an apartment complex, I think it's called Lofts at 10, but it used to be, back in the day, the fancy Holiday Inn with the giant sign. Uh, for those who are my age and older, those in their 50s and 60s, people in their 40s, I don't know how much memory they'll have of it, but certainly people in their 50s and 60s can remember back when the Holiday Inn had a big, big neon sign. And by big, I mean like the size of a two-story building neon sign that would have an arrow that pointed with flashing lights that would point at the building. And it was a really grandiose thing. And I can remember that building being the Holiday Inn on Van Buren. Van Buren being like the main drag through Phoenix before it you know, became urban decay and was lined with hookers, which ironically, it's actually nicer than that now. And it's, it's not nice at all now, but, but yeah, the hookers have moved over to 27th Avenue an Indian school in Bethany, which back then was a nice part of town, 27th and Bethany. Anyway, so I get, get to this apartments and there's actually a picture on the inside or a mural of what it looked like back when it was a big sign Holiday Inn, which is kind of neat. It's like brought back the flashbacks of flows. Yeah, I remember that now. Because they've changed the front of the building quite a bit to make it look more like an apartment complex. But once you get in it, it's just got that layout of an old Holiday Inn. And anyway, their elevators are broken. Now, rather than looking for the elevators, I just went up the stairs. So I was going to the second level. And oh, are you fucking kidding me? I am not going to miss the 44 right now and be stuck here for 30 fucking minutes. Oh yeah, it looks like I am. God damn it. I hate this bus system with such a passion. And that bus not even stopping. Of course, there's nobody at the stop, so I guess there's no reason for it to stop. But... And of course, I wasn't close enough to the bus to see. Was that a 44 South or the, was that a not in service? I, I can't tell. I can't tell. All I know is I don't want to spend 30 minutes in 117 degrees, or sorry, 107 degrees. Oh look, it's a hole. Seven degrees at 1210. Oh man, it's brutal enough just trying to cross this this road as hot as the hot as the asphalt gets this time of day. Oh yeah, no, I just missed it. 1236 for the next one. God damn it! I'm going inside QT. Gonna small ice cream cone or something it's just super really hot anyway so i went up the went up the stairs to the guy's apartment and he was really friendly and he gave me a, gave me a little tip got his pizza and told me uh asked asked if if i came up the elevator i said nah i didn't i didn't even waste time looking for the elevators i 
if I, if I see him, I always use the stairs. That's why I'm in such good shape in my mid-50s. And he goes, he goes, that, that's nice. And he says, that, that works. And just kind of nodded. And anyway, going back, and I went down a different stairwell. And when I exited the stairwell, I exited in such a way that I was reasonably sure would take me to the parking lot. And it did. Now, it wasn't exactly in the parking lot where I thought it was going to be, but it's like, okay, there's Van Buren that way. I'll just walk around the building over to my car and get on out of here. And I found myself on the wrong side of a gate. Some kind of deadbolted gate, and there was some kind of an automotive gate that you needed a vehicle to trigger the thing to open it. And I was literally on this other side of the gate, and all the doors needed some kind of a security card sensor thing to open them. I hate all the gates and everything with these gated because the criminals have no problem getting past the gates. It's people like me that are just trying to go about our daily lives delivering the goddamn pizza and find herself inconvenienced by these gates. And of course, there's nobody there to let me out. And I've had so much problems making phone calls work. I'm wondering what I'm going to do, call this guy after he's already got his pizza and say, hey, can you come get me? And then I'm going to struggle to explain exactly where it is that I'm at because I'm not good at that sort of thing. It was so so frustrating. And at one point, after after a good you know, two or three minutes and hoping that maybe somebody would drive out that I could follow out or hoping that maybe, I, I don't know, I tried using keys and cards to see if I could push the because it looked like one of not actually a deadbolt it looked like one of those where it needed a key on each side but the kind where it just lashes when you push it closed and and sometimes it's like loose enough and it seemed like it was i can push something in it to push the little latch back and push the gate open i don't know it's exactly called picking the lock but it's not not the most difficult way to you know which is which how easily those are defeated is the whole reason people buy deadbolts i'm not trying to break in i'm trying to get out I'm already stuck inside. I'm trying to get out and get to my damn car before some of the riffraff in that area starts fucking with my car. So I didn't succeed in that. What I ended up doing is throwing the pizza bag over the fence because the fence is about six foot tall. And then there was some sort of, sort of like this sort of thing, like a window ledge that I was able to kind of climb onto and from there hoist myself over the fence, jump on the other side pick up my pizza bag and head out but what does that fence even accomplish you know the riffraff going to get around it without a problem anyway i i i hate that priscilla lives in a gated complex and it's pretty high on the list of reasons why i just really don't want to go over there and had she been like hey you know let's just leave together yeah okay and, and, but no, she was just wanting me to figure out how to get past that gate alone and then get to her place. And I, and I just, I know how this ends. You know, I end up crashing out in her bed. I wake up with my phone's dead because I don't have my phone chargers. And I'm thirsty, but I don't have the beverages that I have in my fridge. And, and I'm just super frustrated. And then I'm, you know, not where I want to be. And I still have to figure out how the hell to get home and go feed the cats. Obviously, she wasn't too interested in me because she didn't come to my place after she was done. I don't even know why I still mess with her. It's, it's just usually layers and layers of frustration with that woman. And welcome back. It's now 1246, Saturday afternoon, August 5th. Let's see what my weather widget says the temperature is now. 108. That's fabulous. So yeah, 47 minutes and I've made it almost, but not, not quite two miles south from my place. Public transit is so absolutely discouraging here. Um, yeah, there's just nothing like being stuck, being dependent on it, even for a day to just make you just want to want to not not be a part of this planet anymore. Um, my hair comes to 32. You know, I was concerned about the traffic that was going that way. It was going to make it hard for me to get on the 32, but now it seems to be going okay. I don't know what to think about that. And thank God I didn't have to wait that long for this. Yesterday it was like literally a, a, just shy of a half hour at this intersection, waiting to go north the last you know mile and a quarter from here. I don't understand why it's just not one bus going all the way up and down 44th Street. It's just, this whole setup just sucks. 
you. Oh my God, it is so hot out here. Well, I finally made it. Man, that vent at the back end of the bus, that vent blasts such hot air when you, when you walk by it at the sidewalk. You think they could figure out some way to send that air up instead of out assaulting the already hot people that are trying to walk on the sidewalk away from the bus, but I guess nobody considers that important. So 12.56 right now. By the time I make it to Rob's, I will have been spending an entire hour to get here. It takes about 10 minutes to drive it. just wrong on so many levels I dream of living in a place that's walkable where I can just do what I got to do on on foot and transit I dream about that but I feel like I'm pretty much condemned to this litter infused hell that I live in Right, I'm going. I just always seem to barely scrape by. Just don't see me getting enough ahead to ever change anything. I'm just gonna be kind of doing what I'm doing until I get lucky enough to have a stroke and move on. Welcome back, YouTube. It's 1.18 p.m. and I figured out why there's so much traffic here on 44th Street. Did you just see the sign on the right? It said Detour, Arizona 143. Yeah, the Hohokam Expressway is closed for some reason right now. I have no idea what that's about, but, but yeah, when it's closed, uh, usually 44th Street is worse than this. So. so uh, anyway, God, I'm tired. I didn't get enough sleep. And not for any good reason. Just the usual... The usual frustration that the so-called girlfriend is not taking care of. I would say that's the main thing that stopped me from sleeping well. And of course I never heard back from her after I left the bar. Trying not to care. So the air conditioner blowing cold. And temperature gauge is hanging down where it's supposed to. That's a good thing. I forget what Rob said. He said some, some kind of controller. I don't know. I, I probably should have asked him to explain exactly what it was, but I guess it doesn't matter. Whatever it is, it's... God, she is gorgeous. I'm standing at the bus stop with her little kid. Yeah, so, I mean, whatever it is, just a, another damn part replaced, another damn thing I owe Rob for. I'm not sure how late the bank is open today. I still got my check from Domino's, which I haven't been able to deposit. Due to work hours and bank hours just not coordinating nicely. And me still not having my uh, debit card. Yeah, I'm not usually the guy that sits this far back behind the other car, but there's shade right here, and I'm just trying to stay out of that damn sun. Not too thrilled about the shift that Samantha has me scheduled for today, like 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. I mean, how busy does she think it's going to be during that time period? It hardly seems worth the effort of me getting dressed and coming in. On that note, I better stop and buy some fucking black shorts before she complains about that shit. I could just wear the dirty ones I've been wearing. The ones she didn't complain about, they have the overly restrictive pockets that make it difficult to handle the stuff that I carry. What does she complain about these ones? I mean, these ones are... They're black, they're just a lighter shade of black. Seems like in situations like that, where they want something specific, the employer should provide that shit. I mean, they provide the shirt, they provide the hat. The shit, Amazon provided $100 work shoes. I had an email from Del Taco saying I was getting a free shake for my birthday. And part of me wanted to go there, but I missed the left turn arrows, and I just... 
just want to be out of the sun and out of the heat. hang with some Black Sabbath. Construction in the fields of bodies burning as the war machine keeps turning. Death and hatred to mankind, poisoning their brainwashed minds. bucks I put in a couple days ago didn't last very long. I miss being able to just swipe a card and top off a tank. I mean, granted, it's a little bit cheaper being able to use Costco, but that card's missing too. Figure out what I need to do to get it replaced. in the front door since I'm sure the back is all flooded with uh, irrigation. So I haven't seen what the front looks like with the irrigation right now. It might be flooded too. Not quite sure how it happened, but right now I'm like well, part of how it happened is they, for no apparent reason, lowered my credit limit substantially, my Wells Fargo card. But, no, no. Very minimal irrigation out here. Um, yeah, part of it is that they lowered, lowered my uh, available credit. Somehow I managed to get over it. When I opened my Wells Fargo app, it's, it's your blah, blah, blah over your credit limit. I don't know, it's a couple hundred bucks, maybe more. Make a payment now! With fucking what? Still waiting for my goddamn ship to come in. I'm realizing I'm probably gonna die first before that happens. Hello, YouTube. So it's 2.26. Supposed to work three to six at Domino's, but I got Samantha texting me asking if I can come in now because they're really busy. I still haven't had a chance to inform her about how I need a schedule change for MLS. And I figured I'd complicate my schedule a little bit more by taking a Winolo shift at HelloFresh tonight. Uh, HelloFresh production from 7 p.m. to 5.30 a.m. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's, uh... It's, um... Yeah, I'm going to be absolutely exhausted by the end of it. But looking forward to being in the cooler and out of the goddamn heat. So there's that. Shit. I just realized I left my backpack. Whoops. Can't believe I did that. 
kind of prepped up my backpack with stuff, which is fine. I, I just realized I didn't prep it up as good as I needed to anyway, but... But yeah, I prepped up my uh, backpack with a couple of warm shirts. I'm wearing jeans, which is kind of absurd considering how hot it is, but they're unquestionably black, so... So that's why I'll be bitching that they're not a dark enough shade of black. I'm going to mess her up when I tell her that they absolutely have to leave at, at uh, 6, regardless of how busy it is, because they got to be hello fresh at 7. That'll be nice, though. Usually hello fresh pays by the next afternoon. And, uh, substantially more than any of the two jobs I'm working these days as so-called full-time jobs. Although Domino's is so-called part-time and I'm just giving me over 30 hours a week, which is not what I want. I was going to run back in, but I don't seem to have a, don't seem to have a uh, um, USB-C cable with me right now, so I'll be right back. I get the feeling I'm not really going to be showing up early at all. As much as uh, Samantha wants me to be. Um, come on, shift. Come on, shift. I need to get some video of like what the speedometer does when it does that. Because it does this crazy bouncing thing. Because whenever it's not shifting right, the speedometer jumps down to zero. And then when it kind of catches but doesn't catch, it jumps way up and then it bounces down. Oh, fuck, it's hot in the car. Just that little bit of me going inside with the sunshade off is enough for it to get a lot hotter in the car. I still gotta stop and get gas. Yeah, I'm down to that. Almost gonna run out in space. So yeah, I didn't have time to make the bank to do anything with my uh, Domino's check. feeling I'll be able to spend the money from my ship tonight at um, actually clean up real nice um, looks like I'll be able to uh, the right things are going I'll probably end up being able to spend my money from tonight at HelloFresh on, online on bills before I'll have access to that check from Domino's since it was given to me as a physical check. It's got to still got to deal with replacing my Chase card and my uh, Costco card. While I'm at it, I should probably try to get a hold of some of the other ones that, I've, that have been missing for quite a while and I've just been dealing without. God, let's see. Target red card's been missing for years. Supposedly that's still a valid account. But, you know, don't charge me anything for it. But yeah, I haven't had a physical card for that since. God, I think that was missing when I went up to Denver. That was in like 2018, I think. And I got one for uh, oh god, I forget what the what the company is. It's the one where they have the slogan "What's in your wallet?" I forget the fucking name of the card. It was actually the first credit card I got after I was trying to rebuild my credit after my divorce. And it doesn't have much of a balance and doesn't have much of a credit limit either. For as long as I've been a customer, it's got a pretty shitty interest rate, but I just noticed like one of the components to a FICO score is how long you've maintained particular lines of credit. So the fact that I've had that one for so, so many years, I feel like over a decade, just it, it helps to that end. So. paper gas. It just feels like a massive fucking waste of my time. Just want to do the normal of swipe it and top it off and then not worry about it for a few days. Stop by. 
nine Thursday mornings at a different state. Yeah, it's 241 now. I'm not getting there particularly early. So I put $22 in. It was 2.7 gallons, I think. And it's about half a tank. Put the gauge at a little below half tank. Not that this gas gauge is particularly accurate, but I've gotten really good at looking at where it where it lands, like to know where it actually runs out of gas and where it's close to running out of gas. That's the important thing. Oh, so not much to say really. I don't even know why I'm running video of it. I'm just kinda let the voices out, I guess. You know, it would have been a good night to send with Priscilla, but I don't know. Last night was just such an overall disappointment, the bit of time that we had with her. That, yeah, given the choice between being disappointed by her and going to HelloFresh and making $171, I'd rather go to HelloFresh. It's the first time I've had... Well, I guess I shouldn't say I haven't had shifts not lining up with my schedule of my two jobs, but... Um, you know, stuff from Manolo. I did that one shift of, uh, what you call it, uh, shift at the hotel, and I've done a couple a couple shifts at HelloFresh Delivery, but those are super short shifts. But yeah, this is the first time I've had a, in quite a while, I've had a 12-hour shift at HelloFresh production, like actually line up where I can do it. But yeah, I'm scheduled to leave Domino's at 6, so probably going to shock her when I say, hey, you know, I'm playing around the schedule and I've got another job lined up at 7. But yeah, like, the money is so much better over there and the work is a lot more pleasant and it's not putting so much damn wear and tear on my car. Winola offering other jobs. Well, it's offering 7 p.m. for tomorrow night, too. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think I could pull that one off. I forget what time I'm scheduled for tomorrow at Domino's, but I think it's something like 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. And then presumably back on Monday at MLS. I, I haven't heard back from Rob, but I was supposed to text him with information about my dominant schedule. And I haven't really had a chance to discuss that with Samantha. So. And I got a feeling I won't be able to do that today either. I'll be really bummed out if I miss out on this opportunity to be the evening shift lead because of not having not having adequate wow that guy's using a hand signal to turn right there's something you don't see every day i would imagine half the drivers on the road probably thought that guy was just waving at them <laughs> i honestly don't know what my schedule is i didn't look and see a posted schedule i'm just gonna show up on monday morning at 8 a.m as usual But yeah, between you know the Winola stuff and Domino's and Nello Fresh, no, I don't, I don't have anything that even vaguely resembles a day off. And to be honest, the only thing I'm, I'm feeling like I'm missing out by not having a day off, because by not having a day off, I, I, it gives me less time to worry about my complete lack of a love life or sex life. But the thing I am missing is time to work on editing and uploading my blog. But I got a pretty sizable chunk of it uploaded this morning, so that's nice. I'm still making it through the beginning of, of July with my uploads because I just shot video like crazy through July. I'm coming up on Domino's here. 2.47, I made it in a little more than 10 minutes early. Something. Thanks for coming with me on, uh, on this lovely bit of drive. 